While you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Going back to your question, give me Psalms 147, verse 19. This Bible is only for y'all, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He has not dealt so with any nation. Read it again. He showed his word unto Jacob. My brother, what's your name? Khaled, okay, Khaled, the Bible said God only showed his word unto Jacob. When you read the Bible, Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Israel had 12 sons. These 12 sons right here. This is who we are. You see yourself on this side? You are an Israelite. You are a child of God. You are God's chosen people. Read you know you're right. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He showed his statutes and his judgments unto you, unto you, unto you, unto you. He didn't show nobody else this stuff. It's just like you got kids. You, well, when you have children, right? In your house, you got rules for your house. When they friend come over, the friend don't gotta follow the rules, but your child do. So God, us being God's chosen, he has special rules that we must follow. Right. He don't care about nobody else. He care about us right here, yeah, yeah. which is what I was showing old school right here. I was telling him, that's why we get a foot up our behind. We're not listening to God. That's right. He got rules for us that we must follow, and we got to follow him. That's the only way we're going to be successful. Read on. He had not done so with any nation. He not dealing with nobody else. Your father ain't trying to be a father to nobody else. He your father. God is the God of the Israelites and the Israelites only. He's your God. Read. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Them other races of people don't understand God's judgments. They think when it's chaos and commotion, national, national, uh, what is it? National disasters. National disasters, right? Tsunamis and stuff, they think that's science, that's God. That's God visiting the earth. We understand that as a people. Give me Leviticus 19 and 17. So now we finna get into God's rules, cause y'all are the Israelites. We are the Israelites. So what's some rules that we gotta follow? Here's one. Count, do we know how to treat each other in Chicago? Bring it out. Some of us, I like that answer. Not all of us. Us as a whole, we don't know how to deal with each other. In Milwaukee, a little boy, 16, got shot over $10. $10! Bring it out. On 111 at King Drive, you had a brother walk up to a cop with a little girl standing right there and let the whole clip off. Do you hear me? You can look this up on the internet. He walked up to the car and let the whole clip loose. He reached over the little girl like this. She's standing right there watching him shoot into the cop. We don't know how to deal with each other. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. You know what's sad, Khaled? Our problem in Chicago, in all these cities, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we hate one another. We hate one another. God said we are not supposed to hate each other. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. That's something else. We don't correct each other. Remember the saying that they used to say coming up, they used to say take a village to raise a family. We don't have that love for each other no more. My brother's right here, they understand that because they was around back in the 70s, the 60s. When if somebody parent saw you doing something bad, they'll whoop your behind, and then they'll take you to your mom, and your mom will whoop your behind. Our generations don't know what that is because everybody is for themselves. It's every man for themselves. Everybody hate each other. 
We need to get back to learning how to love one another according to what God says. We don't correct each other. Look at the little girls today. Remember back then where if a little girl was outside dressing loose, they'll say she what? What's the term they'll call her? Fast. Hot mama. Fast. Hot mama. He went back. They'll say, hey, that little girl fast. They go tell her mama what she got on. And she'll get her behind what? It's not like that today. Today, it's popular to dress and act like you are a streetwalker. It's popular to act like you are a loose and lewd woman. That's popular. Where's the dignity? We ain't got no more dignity no more. We don't care about each other no more. It said rebuke thy neighbor, rebuke me to correct. If you saw somebody you love smoking crack, what you gonna tell them? You gonna tell them to stop? We don't do that. That's the same thing today. Where's the people that's going to stand up and tell these young men gang banging is wrong, selling drugs is wrong, right. talk to the little girls, sis, you don't need to be worried about sex, focus on your education, focus on learning something, focus on learning how to be a wife, a mother, don't focus on trying to be out here to the best part or where it's lit or where it's live at, we don't do that. But the Bible tells us to do these things, that's why we get jacked up, do y'all understand? Read and not suffer sin upon him. We're not supposed to let one another fall into anything bad. That's love for one another. Read on. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. We got that problem in Chicago. Khaled, Khaled, we got that problem. It said we shall not avenge. Avenge, that means vengeance. Everybody want to get payback. Everybody want to retaliate. That's why these brothers killing each other the way they do. But they haven't been taught this. This is what we need. This is the medicine. We have not tried this. This is what we need, yes. This is what we need. We don't need church. All they doing is singing and dancing. We need to actually take the Bible and follow the Bible. Proverbs 11 and, four, uh, 11 and 14. The book of Proverbs, chapter 11 and verse 14. Where no counsel is, the people fall. What that say? Where no counsel is, the people fall. Where no counsel is, the people fall. We have nobody to counsel us. Nobody to lead us. But guess what? You have leaders rising up. You're looking at them. Because we are tired of our brothers killing each other. Right. We are tired of our sisters becoming single mothers. We are tired of that. Read. But in the, in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. It's safety when you come back and you start doing what this is. When you do what you want to do, it's nothing but destruction. Give me Hosea 13 and 1. All this right here in Chicago is our way. That's why I was just talking to the brothers. They go, we try all this stuff. It don't work. Try God's way. Read. The book of Hosea, chapter 14 and verse 1. O Israel, return unto the Lord thy God. God is talking to us. Remember, we Israel. He said, come back to me. Don't go to nothing else. You try everything else. Come back to me. Read. For thou hast fallen by thine iniquity. You've fallen by your iniquity. Can I get away? Iniquity is sin. Yes. We do not do what God says. Give me sin. We do not do what God says. Do y'all understand? That's why we in the position we in. We're not listening to God. Read. The book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Read it again from the top. Whosoever committed sin. So whosoever, remember, these people on this sign was given the laws of God. They were given the rules of God. So the Bible says any one of these people that break his rules, transgressed also the law. Transgress means to break. If any one of these people on this sign go against what God tells them to do, they are breaking his rules. Give you an example, sir. We cannot smoke cigarettes, 1 Corinthians 3 and 16. We cannot smoke cigarettes. 
black man, Hispanic man, that is against God. I'm gonna show y'all something. What happens to us when we smoke squares? Give me some more. Give me some more, sir. Don't just leave it at damage. What happened? We smoke, and not us up here. I'm talking about our people as a whole. They smoke so much cigarettes, they end up with a hole in their neck. They smoke so much cigarettes. I remember seeing something so crazy growing up. I would going, see bro? people smoking cigarettes and they on a bus with an oxygen tank. You coming back? How are you plugged up to oxygen and you still smoking cigarettes? We are destroyed. We are destroyed because we lack knowledge, the knowledge of God. Read that. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3 and verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. Our bodies is God's temple. So if this body belonged to God, what's your name, sir? Kenny. If that body belonged to God, can you do what you want? No, you cannot. You cannot do what you want to that body because it don't belong to you. Read. If any man defile the temple of God, my sister, listen up. Kenny, listen up. If any man defile the temple of God, if you ruin that body, read, him shall God destroy. Did it say he's going to hug? Him shall God destroy. Did it say he's going to give you a pat on the back? Him shall God destroy. God will destroy you if you ruin that body. If you put tattoos on that body. If you sleeping around with every woman you see that's ruining that body, he's going to destroy you. How will he destroy you? Deuteronomy 28 verse 61. How will he destroy us? People be thinking when they smoke squares and they get sick, they just think, oh, I got the short end of the stick. That's God. Because you're not supposed to be smoking that. That's not supposed to go in this body. That's right, you're being dealt with by God. Right, he give you a chance. That's something else, Kenny. We don't know when our chances are up. God's patience is different with each and every one of us. We don't know. Some of these brothers out here, they don't know. They one more bag of weed away from losing their life. They, they one more cigarette smoke from getting cancer. That's good. That's good. Continue to leave that alone. Because if you don't, if you go back, read the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 61. Also, every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law, then will the God, then will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. Read it again from the top. Also, every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law. Cancer is not written in here. AIDS is not written in here. Gonorrhea is not written in here. But if you go against what God says, read. Then will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. He will bring those diseases on you until you be destroyed. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth